All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. I know I certainly am. Welcome, everybody. All right. So uh, this week we have another repeat dungeon, but this is actually a great dungeon. I'm glad that they chose this one, guys. It's called the Frenzied Choice. Um, it says decisions, decisions. It is a medium difficulty swamp dungeon. Loot this week is the tech generator, tech sleeping pod, tech boots, long neck rifle, and the tech gauntlets. And the boss is going to be the Dodicarus Vasta. So easy boss, which is fantastic. Um, and the way that this dungeon is laid out makes it extremely good for speed running. Um, there are two optional traps that you can use, or you can go through an event room um, and basically there are two required event rooms and then either a trap or a third event room and you've completely sped run the dungeon and you have the, uh, the featured loot. It's very, very quick. I'll go through the whole thing, but you know, if you want element, this is a good week for it. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Do appreciate you. All right, let's go ahead and hop on in. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, I forgot that it was a hot dungeon, too. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab... I'm going the wrong way. There we go. I'm going to grab the loot crates off of this giant starter room real quick. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out today. All right, simple bullet. There we go. All right, there should be a loot crate that's up over here. <laughs> this is exciting. Good, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it so far. Just barely gotten started here. Alright, so two free uh, chests right off the beginning room. Alright, now I'm actually going to go do basically what I would do if I was speedrunning this dungeon. And then we'll do the rest of it after, just so I can show you guys how quick of a run it really is. Is this an easy one? It's considered a medium difficulty. Um, but it is fairly easy as far as, uh, dungeons go. Do, do, do. Um, do I want to run that first? No, I want to do this first. Okay. So we're going to come up on the first room here. This is the first event room. Uh, this is a Dillo room. So, Dilophosaurus. <laughs> we're probably going to be a little blind. It's okay. There we go. Ah! Rude. They missed. I don't know how they missed at point blank range, but they did. <laughs> also, this is an extremely hot dungeon. If you have, like, a, an adaptogenic serum, this might be a good week to bring one. Or just some extra medical brews. Do I think the tech teleporter will ever be back? Ebra, um... Did they disable them? Because the tech teleporters still work on single player. And I use it to access dungeons all the time. Um, are there jumps on this map? Asteroid, there is a jump. Or actually, there are two jumps. Both are optional. Hi, buddy. The heat is getting to me in this room. Ugh. Come here. I might actually struggle a little with medical brews if the heat stays this bad. Ugh. Why not using shotgun? I don't like to waste it on something like Dillo's. Um, the ammo's kind of expensive, and I know a pike works pretty well on these guys. They are not, like, they're not the most dangerous creatures in the world, so I'd rather, uh, 
use my pike dura than my shotgun dura. Ow. There we go. Alright, threat's been cleared. Let's go ahead and swap this out real quick. There we go. Okay, so that's the uh, Dillo room. First of the two required event rooms. Prentice Spino Saddle. I am going to go ahead and do the loot run here because you need it. Featured loot should be right here. There it is. We got the tech boots. So featured loot right there, right off the Dillo room. Very easy to get to. Um, you use yours to enter the dungeon. Don't use to travel. You think they still work? Yep. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that they still work for that. Ah, I'm stuck. I was looking at chat. Okay. So now we go down this way. <laughs> oh, I missed it. It's back up here. It's not the most important loot crate in the world, but I want it anyway. Gimme. Apprentice Mosasaur platform saddle. Those are pretty cool. Oh man, I wish there were more water rooms in here. All right, there we go. That's the facility key right there. Might be a good week to bring a few extra canteens though. I will say that with the extra heat in here. In fact, do I have an adaptogenic serum on me? I don't think I do. It's frustrating. Okay, hopefully I pick one up. Okay, so now we have the facility key. The facility key unlocks the actual boss fight, which is great. <laughs> okay, so there are a couple of options here. Basically, there are three ways to get to the boss fight. I'm going to go through the event room um, and avoid the traps, but if you prefer a trap to an event room, you can avoid this room. Oh, there's a water room. Perfect. Yeah. Stand here for a second and refill all the waters. Where does where's my other canteen? There it is. Beautiful. Ah. Okay. We're going this way. It's fantastic. Alright, so here's the optional event room. Um this is a trike room, just FYI. Growing trike threat. I do prefer this over traps, just uh, on servers, especially because of the lag. Oh, you're so tiny. That was dramatic. <laughs> All tech items come from dungeons, right? Um, Ibra, yes, most tech items come from dungeons. You can pick up tech items in regular loot crates. Whoops. I let myself get stunned. Um, you can pick up tech items in regular loot crates on occasion. That is a thing that they've added. Wow, he just went right around that. Ow. Ow. I prefer to keep them on the other side of the pillars. No. Game, please. That's not what I wanted. Ah. Ah. Okay. Kind of got to wiggle around this pillar. No, 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 no. Almost. Okay. Ow. There we go. Not too bad. Uh, how much damage does my shotgun do? My shotgun is a 170 damage. It's definitely not the best um, shotgun in the world, but it does get the job done. All right. So that's the uh, 
That's the trike room. Um, let's go ahead and grab the loot crates off of this just because and they're optional, but they're here. I'd rather not have to backtrack through all of this. These are just regular loot crates. <laughs> what is the boss? Boss should be the Dodic, which is a very easy boss. <laughs> Grab this guy. All right, there we go. I don't know why I bothered with those. They were not good loot, but you never know, I guess. One of them could have been Black Pearls. All right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and head over to the next area here. Um, yeah, okay. Right, this is the way. Making sure I'm going the correct direction. All right, so there is an axe trap here, but like swamp axe traps are usually not that bad unless you have severe lag. Are we playing on medium difficulty? Yes. Yes, my game is medium difficulty. All right, so there is a wall trap here. I'm going to go around it because I can. Do I also play on PC? Yes, I do. Which do I prefer? I prefer mobile. I think mobile is the better developed game. PC may have better content. Um, it may have more maps and such, but I just generally prefer the direction the development went for mobile. I think it's a little bit smoother of a gameplay experience. All right, so now we can come this way. So you could have come straight through uh, that way, but that's a swamp trap, a jump trap, and I don't really want to deal with those, so I went around it. Here we go. This is a Capro and Sarco Minions room. <laughs> so Capro Man's going to pick me up, guaranteed. Hello, buddy. I'll let him get to me. There it is. I don't know what on earth he was doing. He was like swimming beneath the floor, but we got him. All right, let's pull this out. All right, now we just got the Sarkos. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's the dungeon right there, and I took longer than I needed to. So very, very easy speed run here. <laughs> I am gonna go do the bonus rooms just because, but that's the facility door right in the middle of this, and this is the boss teleporter right here. Easy. And done. Um, all right, so that's how you get to the boss teleporter. That's basically how you speed run this dungeon. You don't even have to touch like an entire half of it if you don't feel like it. <laughs> how can you level up to 80 fast? 70 past 70 so hard. Um, simple planes. If you haven't already, consider note runs. Uh, get a bunch of XP boosts and go out and kill like titans and. Other things like that um, will help you a lot. All right, once again, I'm going around the traps. Swamp jump there would be the most direct route to where I'm going, but I don't like going through those. So if you don't want to do one and you have time like we do, just don't do them. <laughs> Last time, not quite. I'm going to go do the rest of the dungeon. I speed ran... Um, sort of speed ran this dungeon to show you guys how quick and easy this week's dungeon really is. If you're looking for a good element stack, this is the week to run dungeons. Just keep running this dungeon. Under 15 minutes to get through. Yep. It's extremely quick. The only problem is there's like no water. <laughs> I forgot where the water dungeon was. Uh, where the water room was. Do, do, do. 
All right, so we go. I went the wrong way. I always go the wrong way. There we go. All right, so we're going to go back to the starting room um, and hit up the other two event rooms because one of them is a Spino room, and I love Spinos. <laughs> eh. All right, let's go, let's go. So this is back to the starting room. All right, we're going to do the Spino and Dimetrodon minions next because it's a short little, little thing. It's not that one, it's this one. Man, the water in this dungeon just goes so fast. I hate it. And we're hungry finally. Perfect. Okay. I misclicked. Seraphima, thank you so much for the super chat. Super appreciate ya. Um, you were watching it at 1.5x play speed. I think a lot of people do that. And yeah, my normal voice would sound kind of kind of slow after that. Although I always need coffee, so who knows. Alright. Kill me a spino. There. If you want an eerie spino, it's not max level. But it exists. And then we have to kill the Dimetrodons. Even though they're cute. Hi, buddy. Oh, if I stand near the Dimetrodon bodies, it's only hot. Oh, that's lovely. <sighs> the Dimetrodons are fantastic little air conditioners. Um, if you didn't know, Dimetrodons act as like little mobile air conditioners. Does make them kind of useful for uh, breeding if you don't have AC units. I should tame some on my No Ingram series. Do -do -do. Could be useful. Oh, water room. Oh, I love it. Water is the way. All the water. Just just loading up on all of the canteens. Ah. All right. So, now we get to the premium chest, which is my favorite part of every dungeon. Um, unfortunately, they're hidden behind a swamp trap. I'm actually going to throw up a save because yeah. <laughs> That's that's a thing that I can do, and uh, I don't trust swamp jumps. They're a little too large. Disappointed about the level of the spinal. Um, it is an optional room. I understand being disappointed about it. It's near max level, but not quite max level. You haven't gathered the courage to do a dungeon yet? Tay-Tay, this is actually a really good dungeon to start with. Um, if you are new to dungeons, all of the traps are optional. There are only three required event rooms. Um, this is a very good dungeon to start with. The boss is one of the easiest bosses. I, I can recommend it. Um, the only reason it's medium difficulty is, I think, because of the temperature and because it is uh, loaded with optional stuff. And we just didn't jump. I just didn't jump. I just didn't jump. I swiped. This is why I save. Because <laughs> sometimes the game just says no. <sighs> Alright, reload. Redo that jump. <laughs> I love how I'm, I'm getting better at predicting when exactly I'm going to die in a dungeon. Like, I'm going to save. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to make this jump. Guess what? I didn't. Put that back on. Uh, yeah. Glad I made that call. There we go. That'll do it. Much better. Alright, premium chest. Rex statue. Premium chest. 
Elegant bed. Ooh. Give me fancy sleeping quarters. All right. So that's the... Uh, those are the premium chests in this dungeon. There's only two, and they're both behind that swamp trap. So uh, be aware. That'll do it. See? I do it fine every other time, but... My my instincts were telling me. The save was needed. Why am I not moving? There we go. <laughs> Smart save. I know. I did good. Um, all right. So now we're on to the last bit of this dungeon, which is completely optional again. And guys, it's Deodons. If you like Deodons, if you want Deodons, come do this room. Also, lots of snails this week. I do love my shiny snail. Okay. What is the loot? So I got a Rex statue. Um, and I got a... I already forgot. The bed. The bed. Pre-made elegant bed, which is pretty cool. Those are pretty nice. Alright, guys. So this is a Deodon room. Oh, please. There we go. I love how my shots just don't count in a Deodon room. My biggest complaint with Deodons is that I can't hit them with a shotgun. It annoys me so much. Unbelievably so. There we go. Whenever they attack you... You have to wait for them to back up that little step. Otherwise, the shot just goes right through their, their hitbox. Nope, just like that. Uh, Symbiote might actually be pretty good in a day out on room just to give you the space to hit him. Oh, they broke my leggings. Rude. Now they're going to hurt. They do shred your armor, by the way. Daedons are actually kind of, uh, kind of tough. This is an optional room, though. I hate when I waste a shot. There we go. Go away. Force the space out. Waste of a shot. Go away. All right, one more wave. Come here, piggy piggy. Oh, there you are. No, no, I want that one. He's almost dead. There we go. Always chase them down when they start to run away. I think this is a new dungeon. No, Raptors, it's an old one. Um, the map is available on the wiki. But it's a very, uh, it's a very good dungeon. I'm, I'm actually kind of happy that they picked this one. I like it. It's got some uh, choices. Da, da, da. There we go. All right, so if you want Deodons, a uh, good week for Deodons, but you will uh, you will lose your pants. I always lose my pants in this game. It's a sickness. There we go. Uh, okay, let's grab the loot off of this and uh, move back to the boss fight because that's pretty much the whole dungeon. There's a bunch of loot crates over here. And then we'll head out. Ooh, potent medical brews. Do, do, do. Okay. So off the Deodon room, there's a whole loot crate run um, with several regular loot crates. I'm going to go pick them all up because uh, I'm a completionist. 
We'll go get the one at the bottom first. It's guarded by a wall trap. Completely optional wall trap. <laughs> Easy settings, level 83, all explorer notes found. It's going to be hard for you to get levels. Honestly, if you're level 83 and you're looking for how to get more experience, you might have the best luck running dungeons and uh, and the Cave of the Strong. So here we go. Wall trap. On the other side of this, there is a lovely little... Um, I believe it's like a saddle chest. It's one of these. It's gonna... And it should be two taps. Yep. I might wait for it to start going the other way. Wait for it. It's such a slow wall trap, but I'm going to be safe rather than sorry. That was very desynced. Okay, so soon it should do another double tap, right about halfway. One, two. There we go. Send it to on saddle. Nice. All right, make sure all my canteens are full. I'm good. And it's going to hit once. It's going to hit twice, and now I can run back. Beautiful. All right, so that's the uh, other... That's an optional wall trap. Do not have to do that. All right, I'm going to go get the rest of these loot crates. There are no more traps in the rest of this dungeon. We've hit them all. So now it's just uh, collecting and then running back. Except for the ones that are on top of poison vents. That's technically a trap, I guess. <laughs> My wall traps are always different from the public. Um, that's the single player traps. Uh, they are sometimes different from what you would see in... Um, on a server and that's variable it's i'm not sure what the distinction is or why the wall traps are different but all of the patterns are the same so there are only a set number of patterns you can get i have gotten the harder um patterns on wall traps before for sure and it's just a matter of watching them very carefully i try to avoid wall traps if i'm playing on a server in general because they are extremely laggy and I have gotten um, rubber banded back into one and died many times. And that's not the way you want to go. So if you can't avoid them, I usually do. But uh, yeah, they are going to be a little bit different between what I'm seeing and what you're seeing. But the wall trap itself will be in the same location. All right, let's go ahead and head up. I guess this counts as a trap, but it's different. Going straight through it. Wall traps just want hugs. Yeah, definitely. Totally. Just giant death hugs. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right. I'm out of stam. Of course I'm out of stam. Almost. Pelagornis, please. Buddy. Get. Go away. He's just sitting there blocking the path. Really? Get out of here. He came through with me. I don't... I don't understand. Alright, there we go. 
So that's the tech building piece in the upper left corner. Again, totally optional. Um, if you need tech building pieces, maybe check it, but you do have to go through a day on room to get it. Are gigas useful? Yeah, they can be, very much so. Um, even on PvE, they can be useful just because of how much hide and meat they gather in a single sitting um, or a single outing. I typically prefer Rexes because um, of the stamina, but that's... Gigas are certainly quite fun to ride. Too many flappy birds in this part of the dungeon. I don't like it. All right. Okay, so now we go back to the boss room because that is every single loot crate. That is every single room. We've completed the dungeon. And it took much longer to do the second half. <laughs> All right, up. <laughs> There we go. Hello, everyone who's just come in. Welcome. All right. I will not get turned around. I will not get turned around. I will remember how to get through. All right. So once again, uh, when I get my stamina back, I'm going to avoid... I didn't realize how badly I was overheating. I'm going to avoid the traps on the way back to the boss teleporter. Because I just don't feel like dealing with traps. <laughs> Why so many birds in the dungeon? Because they like to annoy me with the flappy noises. Yeah, either bring an adaptogenic serum, guys, or bring um, a large number of medical brews to deal with the heat. Or I guess you could get that uh, the buff, the thick skin buff. I haven't used that in a long time. I'm avoiding the swamp jump. I'm going to go around it, go through the trike room. It's a bit more of a run, but, you know, peace of mind. Do that, that, do that. We're not going through that wall trap. We're going around it. I'm out of water again. Running in this dungeon is just such a, such a bad idea. But I'm in a hurry. All right, there we go. Capro room. Boss teleporter. Here we go. I'll drink water when we get up there. Eh. Eh. Is this dungeon hard or easy like the past one? Oh, God, I hate being out of stamina. Um, this is a medium difficulty dungeon. Um, it's actually easy if you don't do all of the optional rooms. Fairly easy, I should say. But there are a lot of optional things you can do that will make it harder. Okay, um, I think I'm good. I'm going to swap out my shoes just because I probably will get hit by the dodic at least once. All right, we'll start the weekly dungeon pursuit. There we go. And then I'm going to throw up a save. As per usual. Ooh, the uh, oil lamps are on sale in the store this week. Why are we Swamp Dungeon? It's only been Swamp Dungeon for the last two weeks, I think. And I'm pretty sure it was a randomized choice. <laughs> and we crashed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, when doing a dungeon, do you have to complete it before you leave, or can you leave whenever you want? Uh, you have to complete it, otherwise you lose all your stuff. Um, the only way to leave is to die. Alright, let's go ahead and hop right in. Dodic boy. This is an easy boss, by the way, guys. 
Again, it's still warm in the, the boss room. Ow. I wasn't on his right side. I'm like having a hard time getting on his right side. There we go. Missed. into me. I can reload and drink a medical brew at the same time. I'm very talented. No. Okay. Ow. Woo! Nice try, buddy. it is. Easy. How much health does it have? Um, they have about 60k on medium difficulty, and it does vary. Um, the harder difficulty your game, the more health the bosses have. Left side easy. Always get stuck on down tree. I mean, that works too. Um, Dodix have an elemental design flaw, though, with the way that they, they can only swing on their left side. So if you stay on their right, um, it, it's pretty easy to get out of that boss fight pretty quickly. All right. Um, three plus damage. I wish. Uh, this, this gun is a 170. 170 damage. Not great. I could do so much better. If I had a better shotgun, all of this dungeon stuff would be, like, twice as fast. Someday, maybe, I'll find one. But it's been a long time, and I haven't. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, can we get bump blueprint in this dungeon? No, I believe it's the long neck rifle. Um, that's the featured loot. I, you could potentially get one from a regular loot crate, but it's not going to be as good, most likely, as one you would get from a featured loot crate. Hmm, <laughs> Um, there we go. That's it. What do you get from completing dungeons? Uh, element, boss trophies, uh, premium items, anything you pick up from the chest. Uh, so like, I got spare ammo, I got some potent medical brews. Bunch of blueprints. These are all blueprints from today's dungeon. Um, Gilly's not great. Did get the, the tech boots, which are actually kind of okay in terms of armor for primitive. And not the most expensive thing in the world to craft. I'm impressed about those tech boots. A really good Tyranid on saddle blueprint. Bunch of garbage. A lot of garbage. <laughs> but uh, a couple of a couple of good things, I'll say. Not the worst loot in the world, but it's a really good uh, speed running dungeon. So if you guys want element this week. You can speed run the whole dungeon in probably 15, 20 minutes max. So, highly recommend it for the element grind this week. Very, very good for that. 
That looks so cool with the eerie skin. Oh my goodness, my eyes are crazy. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and hanging out. Super appreciate you. Please remember to hit the like button on your way out, guys. It seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will go ahead and catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.